Good morning, everyone. We're so excited to have you here this beautiful Tuesday morning with us. Hope that you've had a wonderful day so far at whatever point you are in your day. And this is Stacey Croninger. I'm going to run our uh, discussion today, show you some new things, get you excited about the memory keeping business. Um, typically, we have Chelsea here with us running the, the questions behind the scenes, and Chelsea has decided that Colorado is the place for her, and so she has left us. Um, we miss her greatly, but excited for the opportunities that this move will give her. So today we have Mindy, one of our designers, filling in, so be kind to her because it's her first time doing a webinar, um, but she will answer your questions as well as she can. If there's something she can't answer, then I will get to them after the webinar. But we're excited to have you here this morning. So here's what we're going to go through. We have a guest speaker, Hallie Red, with us this morning. We're going to look at the new products for September, then some product inspiration, product information, upcoming events, uh, talk about a few resources when our next meeting is going to be. So we're just going to dive right in and get Miss Hallie going with us. Hallie recently went to a convention in Lancaster and it was very successful. And so we want her to share some of her tips and things that make her events uh, successful, whether they are conventions or social selling or however she decides to hold those events. So if you don't ever think you can do a convention, no worries. These are things that you can apply to any type of business building you want to do. Hallie, thanks for coming on this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, so, I'm going to let you just go ahead and dive in. Right. I've got your slides up. so. Thank you. Well, you know, it's it's kind of a good time to do the call because at least on this topic, because we are heading I know I know it doesn't seem like it be but we are heading into the holiday season. Kids are getting back to school. Come September people are gonna start thinking, you know, Christmas and there's a lot of holiday boutiques, a lot of, you know, opportunity to grow your business and to sell whichever type of brand people uh, are are comfortable selling. Um, I did just do the scrapbooking event um, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania with one of my downline, Jill McGordy, and it was a huge success. Um, but it was also huge preparation for this event. Um, my first tip is whether you're doing a social or you're doing uh, an event or a boutique what, or whatever, whatever you happen to be doing, make sure you know your audience. Make sure you know what they gravitate to, what they are interested in, what they tend to do. Um, scrappers have, they're all in a mind of their own. They have their own uh, opinions. They, they prefer to take stuff away from the booth. They prefer to walk away with product. Um, just some different ideas. Um, when you're preparing for an event, and I might just kind of focus more on like social events or um, like a, a booth, it's important that you have um, contact cards that people can, I call them contact cards, cards that people can fill out to tell you whether you're doing a drawing and, and you want to get their information or you just say, hey, I want to want to have an email list available for all of the new products that come out in our Memories for Life and Heritage Makers and Anthology. And if you want to be on that email list, give me your information. And on that contact card, what I mostly am interested in is if they're interested in checking hosting for me, as in a social or a party, or if they're interested in the business, or on my contact card, even though this was a scrapbook event, I have, are you interested in learning more about essential oils, mineral makeup, me, Alicia, and, and health? I have those on there. So as that person is checking those boxes off, I'm able to ask them a little bit more questions and find out what they're really interested in and possibly if they mark um, a social, holding a social or becoming a consultant, I give them information that I've already put together and prepackaged um, a hostess envelope with a catalog and some invites in it and I've prepackaged a consultant packet which for me just means giving them um, a cellophane, uh, like, I don't know, I can't even think of it, like a bag that's got a catalog in it, in this case the memory brand um, and have the hostess rewards in it and have the social flyer with the social kits that they can sign up with and have the CEO information in it 
And if any time I hand out a packet to somebody, it doesn't matter if it's a consultant packet or it's a hostess packet, I have an exact date and an exact time I'm going to call them back um, to follow through with them. Because follow through is really important. You don't want to spend money on an event and and then just not follow through. It's like throwing money out the window. So I got kind of out of order on my preparation. But so for this scrapbook event, scrappers are really want to see and touch and feel what you have. And so if you can see on the on the screen, we did the anthology four of the anthology layouts on the backdrop. Um, they loved the layouts. They loved the the uh, ability to come in and go, wait a minute, that whole entire top row is August. That whole middle row is a whole nother collection, and the whole bottom one is another one. And all of those you get for, you know, a not, you know, it's like under $49, right? And for them to come back and be able to see that, they'll buy it. Um, we had one other kit, it was a CEO kit, uh, layout kit from Anthology, that we did not get up, we ran out of room, and interestingly enough, I think I only sold one or two of those. So what you have on display, if at all possible, I mean, you don't have to go in and invest a ton of money, but if at all possible, remember that what you do have on display is typically what people are going to buy and order from you. Um, we had, in it, you might be able to see it, we had on the left table, um, some of the pocket pages and the nifty gifties. We had um, some canvases and metal prints in the very back. And in the very front table, we had our Memories for Life border maker. We had some cartridges out. We had paper cut in strips so people could play with the border maker. Um, I also took the border maker, um, I'm not sure what you call it, the, the page Stacy made that's in the Longevity Memory Brand Facebook page, and it shows all of the cuts of each of the border maker designs. Uh, yeah, she's showing you on the screen. I have that right by the border maker. Um, we had the um, our Memories for Life organizers. We had paper right next to it, and we had all of the anthology kits, just simply card kits, simply put on the table with a few of the cards, and I'll, you'll see another picture in a minute. What was really the two biggest things that people were interested in, and I knew this because I have done many, many shows, is the Our Memories for Life border maker cartridges and the anthology layout kits and card kits. And most people that come by the booth have heard of Creative Memories, have know who Rhonda Anderson is, um, and they most of them have bought product from Creative Memories back when it was Creative Memories, right? So everybody would walk by and they'd say, oh my gosh, I don't have that design with the border maker punch. What is this? Is it interchangeable? And so be sure to know your material. Um, I did a scrapbook show in St. Louis, um, I don't know, maybe maybe six months ago. And I realized that I didn't have enough signage up for people to know about the border maker cartridges because we were inundated with so many people in front of our booth and in our booth, the people walking by weren't able to see what was on display in our tables. So if you notice in this booth, I went to, there's four, no, three signs kind of on the very top. You can see one's Lisa Burnson, one's about my layouts, and one's a border maker. I went to, um, I actually went to the, the container store. You can go anywhere, I'm sure. And I got over the door, um, like a sweatshirt hanger, or like over the door hanger that goes over your door, and you can hang stuff on it. Well, the curved part that you normally hang stuff on, like your clothing, I hung that over the top of the bar in the backdrop. And the flat part that normally goes over your door frame is what is holding those for those um, posters up. Um, I made the posters in Heritage Makers, and when they came, I just went to Walmart and got Filmcore. It's like $2.99 for a great big piece, and I glue sticked it on and and used it. And actually, I've used these ones over and over. So I next time I use it with a new poster, I just flip the flip it over, and on the back, it's it's empty. 
foam core and I just I just glue another one. So those were critical in getting people into our booth. Um, just having some preparation work ahead of time. Make sure one of the one of the tips I can't say enough of is that make sure you know what make sure you use the company's specials. So uh, this happened to be in July. So we had Christmas in July from Heritage Makers, which is why the Nifty Gifties on that left table were front and center, and the Christmas paper was front and center. And the Border Maker, border maker system was 40% off, and it was on sale. So that's why I have a sign up. Um, no, the company doesn't always have specials. It's not something that you should probably rely on, but you can use this was so, 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 so important in the success of our sales. Use a social selling system. Um, I think, I should have this memorized, Stacy, but I think between Jill and I, uh, we had about $9,500 in sales. It, it might have been closer to 10000 by the time we took more orders and we got home. Um, we really, really capitalized on the social selling. And by that, I mean spend $75 and get any kit, any kit for 50% off. Um, now, we also kind of created our own special. I'm not telling you to do this by any means. If you don't feel like you can afford to do it, don't do it. But the reason we got so many sales, and I'm going to tell you why, is this. Um, people want to walk away at a scrapbook show, especially with product. Um, they want to just be able to buy that scrapbooking kit right there and walk away with it. Um, I'm not going to send pallets full of product to a scrapbook show. I'm not going to send it anywhere. Um, what I'm interested in at an event is getting people as customers, but more importantly, team members and people that will host to lead me to new sales and to new team members, right? So I told them, and I made this, Jill and I decided this ahead of time, we are going to offer free shipping if they place a $50 order. I'm going to tell you how you can do that in a minute. Free shipping on a $50 order. And then, because I know you want to walk away with this product, we don't have it enough in stock right now. But if you order it for me today, it will be delivered to you next week. If you spend $50, it's free shipping. And, by the way, if you want to go ahead and get $75 worth of stuff, you can get any of these kits at half off. And so what people ended up doing, they wanted all, they wanted three or four kits. They wanted, we're, we had a lot of people buy the border maker system and several cartridges that they didn't have. And so as you're explaining that, they want it all. But the two, uh, hands down, the two most popular anthology layouts was August and November. So they would buy two of those, so you know one of one of each, which would make it be, um, you know, over seventy-five dollars, and then they would get one of the anthology card kits um, or their border maker system, whatever else they wanted at half off. Now, the social selling back, the social selling where you go enter your orders, <clears throat> it allows you to enter more than one credit card when you're putting an order in. So when they spent over $50, and you don't have to do that, you can say when you spend over $75, it's completely up to you or not do free shipping. Um, it allowed me to put my credit card in and pay the $6.50. And then I put their credit card in and they paid the tax and the, and the cost of the product. We had, um, I believe Jill took an order from a lady that was over $900. And... Um, we all we had in our booth was Heritage Maker product, and Jill had brought um, four or five essential oils and had them on display in the back. Um, Jill even sold pet products there. Um, as we were talking to people, we found out what they were interested in, and we were able to pull out our iPad and search through the social selling and just show them the products, and they picked what they wanted right there. Um, we were inundated with people. And I think the biggest draw to them was I had a sign-up that said, wholesale pricing, free shipping, half-priced items, ask me for more information and the business opportunity. Um, 
Now, what's really cool is no matter what kind of event you do, you can put yourself in as obviously the hostess, right? And you get the hostess rewards. So I have to tell you, it was really awesome to get the hostess rewards on all of these sales. Um, I turned, I bought stuff that I knew other people would want. And I had a few neighbors and a few friends over after I got my four big boxes of free hostess rewards delivered. And I think they ended up buying like $250 worth of stuff and just paying me cash. So it was a win-win. Um, you can keep the free stuff, obviously, use it as hostess rewards, use it for yourself, or turn around and sell it. But the, the biggest thing that really worked was making sure my audience knew the deals and upselling. Um, you know, we had several people that just wanted to buy a couple of um, Our Memories for Life uh, border maker cartridges, which is only $30, and I'm like, that's awesome. You know, I'll take your order. And they would say, do I still get free shipping? No, it has to be at least $50. And so they would buy a couple more cartridges to get the free shipping, which to me is weird because it's only $6.50. But that meant something to them. When they get to that $50 mark, I'm like, and when they did that, they were at 60 They bought four cartridges. They were at $60, right? And I'd say to them, gosh, you're so close to getting a 50% off item. One more cartridge and you have it. Is there anything else that you can't live without? And they always upgraded and bought more product. Um, they're very interested. Most of the people that ordered told me, I want to order more stuff. I just have to wait till I get paid again. So you have all these leads from this event. When you get home and you enter them into the system and in the orders, then you're going to want to make sure and, and contact everybody that filled out a contact card and let them know how to order on your site. Let them know um, any specials you have going. Um, I have an email list of people who want to know when new anthology stuff and new Our Memories for Life comes out. I have a ginormous list of people that want to know when those new border maker cartridges come out. And so this gives you a, a huge following of leads that you need to work now. But that's kind of like the that's kind of where the real work begins. Um, and you have a whole variety of people that filled out contact cards that maybe they didn't put on there. They were interested in the business. But I still, in my email to them, and my follow-up email, I referred them to my website and I said, man, if you guys really want to pay for your hobby, pay for your addiction, and earn a little extra money, we were inundated with people and interest. I'd love to get you some information on the business. And I had two people email back saying, why don't you send it to me? Because I really like the stuff I had delivered. I've been using the layout kit, and I really want more. And so these can be great shows for you if you kind of have a little bit of preparation. I'm looking at my notes. Is there another slide, Stacy? Did I have another one? Yep. You have two more, okay. this one and, and one more look at the booth. Right. So we did a make and take, which was absolutely crazy. I think we did 400 of these. Um, 400 of these make and take packets. And so these, if you're not familiar, are the anthology um, kit. And there's 20 of the same layout, two page spread, in a layout kit, or whatever you want, however you say it. And we originally thought we'd have to have somebody sit there and teach people how to do it. It's actually so super easy and self explanatory that we just had everybody pay a couple of bucks for this. And they literally just looked at the sample we'd already made, and they made it. Um, if I were to do it again, I would charge more money. I would probably charge four dollars for it, um, three or four dollars. But we had we were inundated with people that wanted to do just the make and take, and then one of us would be over there talking to them about the options, and that this is an anthology line from Lisa Burnson, and that we also have um, our Memories for Life line. And we were able to get them from the tables to either come over and hear more and buy some of the other kits that we had available, or give us their contact information because they were interested in, in hostessing or getting emails of updates. Um, and then that, that list from the make and take table, Jill and I just split the names um, so that we can follow through with them when new product comes out. And they will be, we split them as far as customers go. Um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see what else I might not have talked about. 
Oh, what what what's my other picture? Okay. Your, your so other view of the booth. Yep. Yeah. So I really didn't have a ton of stuff out. Um, here's my tip too. You can almost put way too much stuff out on on the tables, and then people are just like, I don't know what you have here. I'm just really overwhelmed. Um, I would tell you to keep it really simple. I've done a lot of shows, and these have worked really well. With the, you can see the on the top picture, you can see the border maker cartridge design page I have there, right behind the border maker system. And then right next to it, I have a special about the border maker, the border maker special the company had on sale in the Christmas in July. We had a lot of people interested to the left of that in the storage of our Memories for Life little storage pack where you can store your papers and stuff. And then I just had clear clear acrylic stands that would hold the card kits higher. And then I had a few samples of like the shaker card right next to that, the layout cards. The one thing that really worked was people that saw all of the layouts in the back. And when I could pull out um, on the very left of that top picture, you can see the layout starting with August going up into an accordion type staggered. I need to learn to talk better here. I could pull out the, uh, the August layout package, open it up, and show them all of the layouts and how simple they come with the recipe card. They loved the idea of simplicity and that the recipe card is right there. And then they could look at the, my backdrop and go, that whole top is August, and that's what I get in this kit. I'm all over it. And so that sold like crazy. Um, and then the bottom display is just a little bit more about the cards. On the left, the um, Canvas Exchange was very, very popular. Um, we sold a lot of those. and. Right behind the canvas exchange is my specials sign that talks about all of the options that we have available uh, for you know free shipping, half price items, that kind of stuff. And so I would just tell you that no matter what you're doing, make sure that you have information to hand out. We we actually just handed out uh, business cards to people, but every single person either ordered or filled out a contact card, and that was my way of being able to follow through with them. This show was at the end of July, and I am still following through with people, and I am still getting orders, and I am still getting people joining my team. Um, so that's, I, I hope I'm not leaving anything out, but that's what I have so far to share. Okay, I have a couple of questions for you, because that was a lot of great information. People loved it. So one is um, the contact card that you have and the posters that you made, are you willing to share those um, with yeah. people? Yeah. Okay. And do you know what the um, percentage of your profits were from your sales? Um, you mean what like was your maybe? profit based on the sales you had or what was your percentage? I didn't figure that out because everybody ordered so many different stuff. I will. I can figure that out. It's fine. It was, it, seriously, I spent, I got home Sunday. I flew home from Pennsylvania Sunday. I got up at 3 a.m. to catch the flight. I got to my house at 1, my time, and I was entering orders because these specials ended on, on the last day of July. I was entering orders till about midnight. And oh. I, I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to breathe, so I don't have that information. It was a lot. I'll just say that. Yeah, you're just fine. Well, that was the main questions, and Holly, that was a lot of great information, things that I think, like you said, can be used at socials, they can be used at conventions, at boutiques, all sorts of things, and great displays. And I loved how you made use of like the Our Memories for Life um, organization folders to show some of your products. Um, and these uh, letter sorters are a great way to have multiple of uh, things out without taking up a lot of table space so very nice thank you thank you so much for uh, being on the call oh one other thing um, was it difficult to get the orders in while you were there or did you have them write out orders and oh. enter them oh so it sounds like you did that at the end we didn't we so I did not do not plan on entering orders in at the show you will not have time we had about nine clipboards that had um, 
the order forms from social selling um, actually in the files tab. And we had multiple orders being ordered at all times. And I just had the customer fill out their contact information and make sure you get their email and phone number and their credit card information. And I told them, when I enter your order, I will shred this credit card information. And they were good with that. And I just wrote what they wanted on there and uh, put it in a safe place. And so we didn't, I didn't get anything entered uh, until I got home. I, I actually entered, but that's not true. People that sign up as a consultant at the event, I, I enter them in my hotel room. But the, the actual orders I just did when I got home um, from the event. That makes sense. Yeah, if anyone's ever done a convention, by the time you get done at the end of the day, the last thing you want to do is more work. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at the end of the show probably is the best way to get And this was a Friday, Saturday event, right? It's, they don't do yeah. Thursday at yeah. Lancaster anymore. No. Okay. No. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Holly, and um, hopefully everyone got something that they can use at their next event, and I really appreciate you taking the time to join us on the call this morning. Thank you. Okay, have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. And you're, thanks. Uh, Nancy, it was um, a CK event that was in Lancaster, so uh, you were asking what the event was. It was a, a Crane Keepsakes one. So we're going to dive in now and look at uh, new products that are coming for September. This is Heritage Makers uh, Studio artwork, and this is going to be a basic kit. It's called Got Candy. Uh, it's a fun Halloween one that has, uh, as you would imagine, lots of different candy things. So there's some candy corn. You'll see these cute little jelly bellies or whatever you want to call them. There's some wrapped candies, but it also has some really fun Halloween designs as well. Um, then also in our basic collection, we have this other one called the Scary Stuff. This is just a small little collection, but it's so simple and so cute that we just couldn't resist adding it in there. So um, just some simple designs, but it would be fun for your Halloween or fall. Um, this plaid is just so fallish looking to me because of that orange and and black in it, um, whether you use it for Halloween or use it for fall. I think you'll enjoy it. Then also from Our Memories for Life, All About Fall by Lauren Hines, and we'll be showing you that in detail in just a minute, but that will also be a basic collection in studio. In our premiere area, All Year Round Jubilations. If you were on the Studio U class, you heard me say how much I love this collection because of this little guy in the middle, that fox. I admit it, I love foxes. But there's also this adorable hedgehog and a little raccoon. And if we get past all the animals, there's just some beautiful embellishments. I love the papers in this collection. It's very fall. Um, but you could use it year round, I think. So watch for all year round jubilations coming. Then we also have this bright fall collection, which is a little more traditional. It's got leaves and trees and um, acorns and things. So it's just a beautiful collection that you can use for fall. So those are our new collections that you'll see September 1st in Heritage Maker Studio. Um, and we did not get the artwork in in time to make any samples. So I'm not having samples to show with you, but we'll have some things available quickly that you can see with these uh, fun pieces of art on it. From Our Memories for Life, as I mentioned, we have the All About Fall collection by Lauren Hines. And these are the designer cardstocks. These colors are so rich and beautiful. On one side of these designer cardstocks are these patterns. On the back side are these solid cardstocks that kind of have a canvasy look to them or a weave. I love that you can see that pattern in these um, papers. But there's, these colors are just beautiful. Um, and in this one, we have, again, two sets of border strips. And yes, that should be a double L on All About Fall. My apologies there. Two-inch border strips. We have one set that's All About Fall, which is this one on the left. And look, there's a fox there, too. Oh, Lauren knows how to make me happy. And you'll see that there's um, some fun and playful designs as well as some more elegant designs in this collection. And then the other two-inch border strip is called Great Guy. A lot of the fall colors are really 
nice for masculine designs and so they threw in some two inch border strips that will coordinate beautifully that have things like ties and this boys will be boys and uh, this is what awesome looks like so and some designs that are just a little more masculine but these colors all coordinate with everything else that's in this collection so again two sets of two inch border strips one that's all about fall and one that's great guy then here are the pocket border strips and you'll see there are a variety of designs here some of these are ones that are pulled from our two inch border strips some of them um, are pulled from the designer cardstock but you've got some fall some uh, masculine looking things some just everyday designs that you can use for a variety of uses so these are the pocket border strips designed to slide right into those multi pocket pages but they look really great on regular layouts as well so don't think that you just have to pocket scrapbooking with these and then finally the um, all about fall uh, pocket journal cards and apparently I really had some problems typing that's not fall be that should be fall by um, these are the pocket cards the pocket journal cards and again they're designed to slide right into the pocket pages but use them for all of your layouts and you're going to see a lot of those same designs that were on the pocket cards and our other pieces pulled over here so they coordinate beautifully and some of them have just a square space some of them have a big rectangle space some of them have no space at all so it gives you lots of variety for what you want to do for journaling or titles or accents or photo frames lots and lots of options with these okay so that brings us to our auto ship for September not August let's go with September can you tell I might have been rushing through this or maybe a little sleep deprived good grief someone needs to uh, check my work so for the September auto ship for $63 look at all the things you're getting you're getting the designer cardstock the both sets of the two inch border strips so that's the all about fall and the great guy then you're also getting the pocket uh, border strips and the pocket journal cards plus the brand new greener grass design cartridge that will be here by September 1st I'm going to talk about this cartridge in just a minute it's not available yet but it will uh, be here soon so that will be part of that uh, September auto ship so for $63 this will be available to order on September 1st so make sure that you get that added if you're already set up for the um, the auto ship if you have that in there it automatically rolls over every month okay there's a question about will the border maker cartridges be switching to white yes they will be as we reorder them they will change to white or um, the new designs will be in white okay so let's look at the layout this one's by Janelle Thomas she used the all about fall by Lauren Hines collection to create this beautiful spread about her family I love that it kind of has a fall feel to it because you've got the fun hay stacks and fall pieces but it really is about family so um, remember that these things don't have to just be about fall or Halloween or Thanksgiving it can be about any occasion and um, this journal card is just perfect for this layout so thanks Janelle for putting this together for us okay for anthology DIY there is not a new collection for this month but I want to remind you how perfect the canvas exchange kit for is for this season because it has Halloween it has winter or Christmas and then it has Thanksgiving so if you didn't take advantage of this in August there's still plenty of time to get that um, and you are getting just the canvas if you don't have the blocks yet you can order the blocks separately um, but do take advantage of that because that's a great way to decorate for the holidays in a quick and easy way with these canvas exchanges that you just peel off and put on the blocks and swap them around I believe it was um, Kristen Goodman that said she puts designs on both sides and then that way she can just flip them around whenever she feels like she wants a new look so you don't even have to store them someplace else just put them on the back of the blocks okay some product inspiration so this was made by Janet Ballard and uh, it actually was part of a blog post I've noted that here um, some fun accents and borders that you could use using frightful and furry by Lauren Hines so she has done some layering like this one here she has this cute two inch border strip that she's layered with additional paper and then she's punched 
and I believe this is a Japanese fan and just shown a little bit of it to get a scalloped edge and then put it on another piece of blue paper. So lots of fun layers, but they're not hard to make because you're just layering your different border strips on top of each other. I love how she did just a single punch out of the classy ivy here at the bottom just to give that little extra something um, on that. So a lot of times we think, oh, we have to punch an entire strip. You don't have to. Just do a little piece. Or do squares and punch um, them and then cut them into photo corners or to accent your page or something. So lots of fun ideas here from Jeanette Ballard. We appreciate her sharing that. So in case you've forgotten about Frightful and Furry by Lauren Hines, here's a quick look at what you're, you get in this. So you have your designer cartridge, or, I'm sorry, designer cardstock shown in the back that um, is kind of a Halloween theme, but it also looks really nice with the pet border strips that we have in the two inch variety. So for the two inch border strips, we have the pet ones you see here, then we have Halloween, you have your pocket journal cards and your pocket border strips. And the journal cards and border strips both have some that have generic designs you can coordinate with anything, and then they have some that have like these ones here are pets, and these ones are Halloween. Okay, so there's lots of options here. So now that we've been reminded what's in that kit, here's one more example. This one's from Janelle Thomas. This is a pocket page that she made using Frightful and Furry. And notice that she's got two cute little pocket border strips here and one of the pocket uh, journal cards that coordinates. And look how those pictures just pop. And I bet it took her maybe uh, two minutes. And that was because she had to slide the pictures in and write the journaling on it. So lots of things you can do with um, that Frightful and Furry collection. Also, we sent out to some of our designers uh, sets of products, and Helen Watt made cards. She used uh, Clean Slate Blue from Our Memories for Life and the Bright and Breezy Paper Collection from Anthology DIY. So you'll see that like these card stocks here, these blue card stocks, are all from the Clean Slate Blue, and then she's accented them with things from the Bright and Breezy Paper Collection. Very easy to put together. I love having cards on hand that I can send out whenever I want. If you don't want them to be spring themed, then find a different saying, or like this one says, you make me happy. This one doesn't have anything on it. There are lots of times I make cards, and I leave them blank, and then when I go to send them, I can write whatever kind of sentiment I want. It makes it so much easier um, to do that. Um, Next up, we have some new templates. We just had our Studio U class that was all about calendars, and so we have a couple of the templates that have arrived. This first one was by Brooke. She set this up so if you have lots of pictures, for example, if you have an Instagram account and you have lots of square photos, this is perfect for dropping all of your different photos in. Each month has a grid layout like this, and the colored boxes are kind of moved around. So you can see here what the cover would look like. Um, with those uh, particular images on there. And she did it in two sizes, 12 by 18 now and later, and the 11 by 16. She also did a desktop calendar. This one's called 2017 Simplicity. And it is very simple because it has just the main calendar with a design in the background, a paper, and then a spot for your photo. And she's taken, and for the first six months, they all have a different background. And then the second six months repeats that background. If you want to customize it, it's quick and easy. You just click on it and then drag and drop your paper. You can drop your photos in and you're ready to go. We do have calendar projects templates that will be coming in. Um, and so watch for those. Okay, I'm going to pause for just a minute and answer a couple of questions that have come in. Um, first of all, can you order the Canvas number one without blocks? Um, you cannot at this point. We are looking at that as an option, but right now it's only available with the blocks and there's actually only about 20 of the Canvas number one uh, set left. So if you are wanting that set, I recommend you get that quickly because that will not be reordered at this time. And can the order and accent sheets, I'm assuming from um, Anthology, be available as a PDF? Uh, Kathy, can you explain a little bit more about what you're asking on that question? And I'll circle back to it. Can border and accents sheet be available as PDF? 
okay, while she's coming back to me on that, the next thing up is Anthology DIY, a project. Um, I'm not sure how many of you watch our Facebook Live segments, but this was one that we did recently. This is battery-operated candle wraps. Uh, because I don't recommend using paper wraps on actual candles. The chance of light and everything on fire is pretty high. But there are so many fun battery-operated candles out there. So use the Rosie Posy paper collection. These are accents uh, that come pre-made like this. All you have to do is stick them on. There was twine in the kit, and so it makes it really easy to um, add those to your wraps and the great thing about these you can slide them off and put them put on a different design if you would like okay a um, couple more questions have popped up uh, the those templates I just showed you for the calendars they are in the template gallery right now uh, we will have some more that we'll be adding shortly okay Kathy the blog from HM can we be able to print the idea sheet oh yes let me get that made into a PDF and then I will um, put that in the files section um, yes thank you got it okay um, calendars we are working on a variety of templates for those regular eight and a half by 11s we'll make sure we do get that and I'm going to give you the information on Facebook live in just a minute so hang on to that. Uh, there was a question about anthology. It's not that it's um, uh, really, uh, they're evaluating what are the best options, what things are selling best to decide on what products to provide. The, the um, Canvas Exchange has done really well, and so they will continue to offer those. So not so much a decline in product is just making it available what actually will sell so that we don't have oodles of um, stock sitting there uh, waiting to be sold that's not ever going to sell. So Anthology is still live and well, bringing out new products. They just are pacing themselves so that you'll make use of what's already available and then uh, take advantage of the new stuff as it comes. Okay, product information. As I mentioned, there are two new design cartridges coming. These will be available in about two weeks. Uh, maybe earlier, but I would plan on at least two weeks. They have not cleared customs yet. They are in the United States, we're just waiting for them to get off the ship. So if someone wants to go down and work with customs, you know, we'll we'll appreciate it. We have two: greener grass and cross. Now, this is just a sample. The greener grass does not punch two different layers like this, but we wanted to show you how fun it is to layer this particular punch. So all I've done here is punched in a darker green and then a lighter green and offset them slightly. So it makes it a little more realistic grass. And then this cross is beautiful whether you're doing the Miracles and Milestones collection or as the holidays are coming up. Um, you might want to include these on some of your holiday uh, layouts. But these, again, will be coming into uh, the store in the next couple of weeks. Um, Next up, I want to remind you that we have two new solid color cardstocks. These were made available a few weeks ago. There's gold and sky blue. Uh, the gold is that it looks very similar to this. It's not a metallic gold. It's this kind of yellow, uh, brownish tan gold that's beautiful. It looks really nice with the Miracles and Milestones. Then we have the sky blue. Also, the collection's organizer tote. Um, this is now available. It's a wonderful way to store and organize your supplies and take them on the go. There is a video out there. If you haven't seen that video, we'd recommend it because it does show some the funness of filling up this tote with all your goodies. Um, and it's a great way to let people know about uh, what's going on. Um, Okay, uh, Sally, you asked about the DIY anthology that's going into the lockets that's coming out through me, Alicia. Uh, those will be available, I assume, at convention or shortly after. I know they are in the fall catalog, but I'm not sure where, um, the, when those will be available. So you just have to watch for me, Alicia, to announce that. The tote video, mm, Kathy, I will go and repost that at the top of um, the Heritage Makers group as well, or the Heritage Makers page, as well as the memory keeping group so that you can see that again um, because it is kind of fun. It's on YouTube as well, so you can also go to YouTube and find it there. 
Now, of course, we have our Heritage Makers 10% discount in September. It will be storybooks of all sizes, as well as board books. I am going to include the board books, these new 6 by 6 guys, in this. Then in October, well, someone wasn't thinking, so we have calendars on sale for the entire month, all sizes, as well as Holiday Jubilee starts in October, because we want to make sure that you have those sales in time for all of your holiday things. So. Um, Holiday Jubilee has not been decided what will happen for each week, but that will be coming October and November and then the first two weeks of December because once we get to the middle of December, most people, are uh, we have to have those things done by then. Uh, the fall catalog will be available to order, I believe, the first part of September and we will be support us. Uh, uh, not supporting. We will be posting the sections of that sometime this week. So the, those of you who like to have the Heritage Makers as one section, Our Memories for Life for one, and Anthology as one, those will be available in the files sometime this week. But um, Michelle uh, Wallach did say that the fall catalog will be available to order September 1st. Or you can check your back office and see if they're available now. Upcoming events. How many of you are going to convention? Oh, I hope a lot of you are because there's going to be great information there. First of all, we have the Be the Change activities on Wednesday, September 7th. There is still an opportunity to sign up for that if you will be attending. The website to sign up is listed there, be the change day .com. Uh, You could be one of the first to see Snap to Finish and attend a two-hour breakout session. So if you're wanting to see Snap to Finish, that would be a great place to do it. Um, also, you would be one of the first to see the new websites that will be rolled out. And there are going to be some amazing breakout sessions that will help you build your business, including social selling. So if you haven't signed up for a convention, do. You're going to be so glad that you came, whether it's to connect with other people that can share their ideas like Hallie did with us today, or to attend breakout sen sessions that educate you on how to build your business, get inspired from the stage, learn about new products. There's so many things that happen at conventions. So do sign up. We'd love to have you there, and we'd love to have you at the um, Be the Change activities on Wednesday, September 7th. Studio U is going to be all about tips and tricks, and we are working with some of our top designers to find out what their favorite tips and tricks are, and we're going to share those because we want you to be able to feel like you're a master using Studio. So join us September 15th at 7 p.m. for Studio U uh, tips and tricks. Next, um, Candy May and Heidi Arvey have started the Worldwide Digi Crops. These are going to be held a couple of times um, each month. We've already held one. The next one's going to be August 25th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Make note that's Pacific Time, so that's 11 Mountain Time, noon Central, and 1 o'clock on uh, Eastern Time. We will be trying different times, different days. So this one is in the middle of the week during the day, so for those of you who have kids in school, this might be a great opportunity. Things you need to keep in mind, we're using Zoom for these. It's um, an app that you can download for your computer, your tablet. Make sure you do that before the crop time so you're all set up. And then all you have to do is follow the link that's listed here, https colon slash slash zoom dot us slash j slash four five seven two two one two three two. Hey, that is the link. Um, we are have posted or will be posting this image in a variety of places so that you can be aware of it. Invite your friends. This is an opportunity to connect with other Heritage Makers people. You can work on your projects. You can share what you're working on, see what other people are working on, um, get tips from people. Because it's uh, using technology of your camera on your computer or tablet and connecting you with these other people, it's really easy to swap who's displaying their computer or tablet at that moment. So you can see what people are working on. You can chat with each other by tap typing um, just like you would any chat type system. Um, so. Join these. They're going to be a lot of fun. It's a great way, as I said, to connect, to get some projects going, to let people know about Heritage Makers. So keep track of these. We will make sure and let you know as they um, are scheduled. Uh, 
Okay, uh, there was a question about the snap to finish, the fact that that breakout is at the same time as the Mealicia breakout. And there is, the schedule is set. There's not a way to add that breakout to the snap to finish breakout to another time. Uh, they will be showing snap to finish from the stage and it will also be available to play with in the expo area. So if you can't make the breakout, there will be other opportunities to see it and try it out. So hopefully that will help. Okay, some resources. Of course, we have the Longevity Memory Keeping Brands group. This is a closed group, so if you're not a member, just go and ask to be added, and we will add you. And uh, there is a files section there that we upload files like uh, the one Hallie mentioned with the um, different designs for the border maker cartridges. We put uh, sheets in there about the latest Our Memories for Life products are being launched. Um, there are project sheets, all sorts of things. So make sure you go check that out. The Memory Keeping Idea Book can be found at heritagemakers.com slash idea book. It's also on the Longevity website under resources. Um, and those uh, that is the latest one if you go to Longevity Resources. As I mentioned, we will be splitting up the uh, individual sections of PDFs of the new fall one that will be available later this week. So watch for that. Um, a question about the DigiCrops digi always being scheduled at regular time so we can invite people to join us ahead of time every two weeks on Thursday. That's a great suggestion, Kim. I will pass that on to the ladies that are coordinating that and give that as an option. So thank you for sharing that suggestion. Okay, some other resources. Again, there's the social selling training videos that are in the Vimeo channels section. So take advantage of those if you're looking for tips on setting up your social selling um, events. This has some great ideas. Okay, uh, Nancy asked about the Facebook Live segments. We're calling these Create With Us. They're every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. And we rotate through all three of the product lines. This week, we're looking at Anthology. Next week will be Heritage Makers, then Our Memories for Life, and then we repeat it again. Uh, they are launched from the Heritage Makers Facebook page and automatically recorded, so you can go back and watch them anytime. We did switch to uh, launching them from that location because it's a public page, which means you can easily share these recorded videos with uh, teams, with other people on your own page, wherever you would like. I do, again, post that um, on the... Longevity Memory Keeping Group as well as in Social Selling Group and the um, Longevity page as well so that they are available there. So join us every Wednesday 2 p.m. It's to, The idea behind it is to show projects that you can create with these um, product lines and they're pretty short. They're usually under 10 minutes so not too long. Just get in, have some fun and get back out again. Okay, that is everything I have to cover today. If there's any last questions, if you want to type those in and while those are coming up, or if there are any, remind you that our next meeting will be Tuesday, September 27th at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. There you can see the other time zones. So if you have uh, signed up for this one, you'll get reminded about it. If you haven't, uh, make sure you go sign up for it now. And I'm not seeing any questions coming through, hoping that... Um, we got all those questions answered, but let me say thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm uh, glad that you were able to come. Hopefully you've gained some new information. The things that Hallie shared will be helpful in building your business. You can be excited about the new products that are coming out in September. And again, we would love, love, love to have you at convention, especially on the Be the Change Day on Wednesday. And um, as always, have fun, share your story, and be creative, and we'll see you again uh, September 27th, if not before, um, around the web. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.